I've worked Aardman for nearly 14 years. So I, I came here straight from film school where I studied animation. And uh, I had no intention really of working for a big company. I was going to be a, a f- sort of a fine art filmmaker who made fine art films and suffered for their art and was penniless. And somehow uh, Peter Lord, one of the founders of Aardman, saw my showreel, saw something in it and asked me to uh, join an apprentice scheme to train animators for Chicken Run, uh, which I joined and I never left. So and I've really enjoyed it, actually. And um, it tapped into something which really performance really um, challenged me getting performance from characters on the stage getting puppets to act and to express themselves really tickled my imagination and really challenged me in a in a way that I found immensely satisfying and um, I just tried and tried and tried to be as good as I could be at animation at character animation in particular and uh, so that's what I kind of set about doing and this was a brilliant place to sort of pursue that so I, I stayed and uh, I ended up working on both of Ardman's big feature films and um, all the other kind of high profile Wallace and Gromit jobs in between and now I'm directing Wallace and Gromit so it's it's been a very nice progression into that it's the the core of it, though, originally for me, was the craft, and and the craft of learning the skill of animation to such a level that on your bad days, your craft skill is going to keep you going and make your work really quite good. And on the days when you come to work and your creative juices are flowing, your craft skill and your sort of creative inspiration link up and make your work blinding and. Uh, and that's sort of what we rely on and, and our benchmark for everybody across the board from animation through to set dressers and directors of photography and everybody who's working is that the, the base level of their craft skills are so high that when they're having a bad day, it's still better than most other people. Um, and when they're having a good day, oh, it's just amazing. And, and so um, I think if you enjoy what you're doing, in whatever craft it is, that keeps you going. I think most crafts at their heart are a passion. I don't think you can actually get a high level of craft skill, be it stone masonry or sculpting plasticine or whatever it might be, unless you're truly passionate about it. If you're not passionate about it, you're not going to put in the hours and the weeks and the days of of practicing and refining and getting to a stage where you 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 don't actually consciously think about it it's like when we see new animators coming through you can tell when they're getting it because they stop asking questions and they stop consciously thinking about the decisions they're making and when they stop thinking about the technical aspect of animation they start thinking about the expression and the performance and so you can you can clearly see it in a in a young animator as they as they take the lessons from each day sort of log them in their animation library it equips them uh to be able to focus more and more and more of their energy into um the actual performance of the characters the Wallace and Gromit's humor stems from Nick really i mean they they are so they're so they so much come from him um, in every respect and the humor comes from his sense of humor that it, it's and he's found a way of illustrating his sense of humor through Wallace and Gromit originally it's things that made him laugh and things that he found amusing and references that he thought were were clever witty funny whatever it might be it sort of Wallace and Gromit sort of mirror the success of Aardman you know they 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 make things in their basement and they slowly they've got bigger and bigger until they had their own Hollywood movie. And Ardman's the same. They started in a garage, two guys sort of inventing it as they went along. And now it's a, a brand in its own right. So, you know, curious parallels, but they, you know, I think they do go hand in hand.